to Education Today. I'm Sarah Morrison from Catanning High School in the Armstrong School District. We have a treat for you today. We are bringing another fantastic happening in the Armstrong School District to you. On Tuesday, March 8, 2011, at West Hills Primary, a special visitor talked to students about reading and where it can take you. Joseph Keppel brought his comedy magic show, The District, a show that has performed in over 30 states and 35 countries for both young and old audiences. He accompanied his message with a few magic tricks as well. Take a look. I'm going to need my hands. Can you hear me without the mic? Yeah. Fine. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Teachers, how's everybody today? Good. That's good. My name's Joe Keppel. The program's called Extra Read All About It. You notice I brought my magic newsstand along with me today. And later, I'm probably talking about books, newspapers, magazines, reading, why it's all so important. Just a few things before we start. I have a lot of things to show you today. I don't want you to miss anything. If you see a trick you think is funny, you can laugh. If you see one you like, so you can applaud. But if I hold my hand like this, it means we'll open loud. We need to quiet down. Remember, if you're talking, your neighbor can't hear the program. I thought I'd start the show by showing there really is magic inside books by taking one of my books and making a table. Now, I know that there are some boys and girls who think that reading is something that is only for squares. But I know that all the boys and girls here realize that reading is the only way to get a well-rounded personality. And I have discovered that no matter what your interests, whether they range, oh, say from, such things as astronomy in outer space, or whether your hobbies range from such things as, well, say, doing crossword puzzles, to playing music, or even collecting stamps. No matter what your hobby or interest, there's a magazine out there just for you. And when we talk about reading, especially reading in the English language, there are a lot of words that sound alike but mean different things. Like the word to, there's a T-O, there's a T-O-O, -O, there's a T-W-O. You pronounce them all the same, they mean different things. Or the word raise, you can raise a tent means put it up, you can raise a building means tear it down. They sound alike, mean different things. It's the same with the word whole. Whoa! Now this is a whole card, H-O-L-E, because it has a hole in it. But the second one, that's a whole card, W-H-O-L-E, because it's a whole entire card. Third card's a whole card, fourth card's a whole card, I've got whole cards, I've got whole cards. Now the whole cards are white on this side, whereas the whole cards are red on this side. Whoa! Over here, I have the same thing, a whole card that is white, and a whole card that is red in one side. Now, if I had never shown you the whole, but instead brought these out, squared up as one, and gave you a quick look, it looks like a whole card with a dot in the middle, right? Yeah. Same with these two, give you a quick look, it looks like a whole card with a dot in the middle. Oh, but you see that card right there? That card right there really is a whole card with a dot in the middle. This one here, of course, is a whole card with a lot of dots in the middle. <laughs> Over here, you remember the dots, the whole card. It's this one that confuses me. I can never remember if this is a whole card with a dot or a dot card with a hole. <laughs> you know what the problem is for this entire trick? You up and look at the dots, not the hole. <laughs> for you, Natalie, do you like to read? That's good because you know when you read books, books take in the future, their past, other lands, other cultures. And Natalie, one of the great things about reading is, is that it stimulates your imagination. Natalie, do you know what the imagination is? That's when you see pictures in your mind. Well, Natalie, I have with me today what I call my book without words. But I'm going to show you that even though my book has the words, it can stimulate your imagination. Natalie? Boys and girls, teachers, this is a very old magician's trick called a trouble wit. T-R-O-U-B-L-E is the word trouble wit, W-I-T. 
Unless you've seen me work somewhere, you've probably never seen one of these before. These were mainly used by magicians in Europe in the 1800s. I like to take old-fashioned magic tricks, try to modernize it, bring up the date. Now, the, up until a year ago, January, there was only one man in the world still made these for magicians. He lives in Auckland, New Zealand. It's down by Australia. It's where they made the Lord of the Ring movies. The man retired a few months ago. No one makes these anymore anywhere in the world. When I open this, you will see that it's starting to tear in, the, in numerous places. It lasts about six months. Normally by now, I would have thrown this away, but I only have one more of these at home. So I have less than a year I can keep doing this trick, and it's something I'm gonna regret because of all the things you see me do here today. This is my favorite piece. Natalie. I cross my book of the horse, I can hold like this, use my imagination, pretend to bow tie. Wow. Natalie, I can hold like this, use my imagination, pretend to oriental fan. <laughs> Natalie, I can clip it at the top and pretend it's a stained glass church window. Wow. Or clip it here and pretend it's a pancake with non-slip tread. Wow. Or a placemat. Wow. Of course, if we open up one side like this, we can use our imagination and pretend it's now a garden rake. Wow. Or a back scratcher. Wow. Or a mushroom. Mushroom walks in the restaurant, sits down, waiter says, get out, we don't serve mushrooms here. Mushroom goes, why not? I'm a fun guy. Or a flower vase. Oh. Natalie, if you open up one more side like this, we can use our imagination and pretend it's now a giant staple. Oh. Or something to go weightlifting with. Oh. Natalie, if we clip at the bottom, we can use our imagination and pretend it's now a cake pan. Yeah. Or a cake pan with a cake inside it. Yeah. Or a bathtub. Yeah. Or a bathtub with a cake inside it. Yeah. Natalie, if we open a third side, we can use our imagination and turn it into a history book. In fact, we'll go back in history about 100 years. At 100 years ago, we will all go hunting for the wild North American duck. Yeah. Or we can go hunting for all the Australian duck. Of course, the pitch that duck have with someone who lived a hundred years ago, like Davy Crockett in his coonskin cap. Of course, when he catches that duck, he's gonna take it home and cook in a pot. And naturally, along with dinner, a glass of something to drink. And then a quick trip to late 1970s to the launch, so the last Apollo space capsule. Or Mirror Space Station. If we open up on the last side, we can use our imagination. And Natalie, this is for when you outgrow those lighter weights. Or you can even have a party hat. Or maybe you go outside and play Cowboys and Indians. Or an Indian would have taken it. Natalie, Boys and girls, teachers, just a little something to show you can do with your imagination. Plain piece of white, please favor. And for you, Jacob, tell me, do you ever look at the newspaper at home? That's good, because when you read the paper, you find about your favorite sports heroes, what's happening in your town, around the world. And, you know, Jacob, we're going to do a trip at some newspaper. But before we do, I have to give you a little test. Tell me, do you ever play cards? <laughs> so then you can tell one card from another. Okay, what's the other? <coughs> trick question, trick question. Stay on my left, I'm left hand. <coughs> Jacob, I have a deck of cards somewhere. <coughs> I want you to hold the box. You'll notice they're all different. Red ones, black ones, all the colors, numbers, and pictures. Jacob, I'm gonna run my finger down the side of the deck. See that? Oh, let's see, there's jokers and everything there, see that? I'm going to run my finger down the side of the deck. You say stop anytime you want, but let me get started. Stop. Right there, take that card, look at it, but don't let me see it. I'm going to turn my head. After I turn my head, you show them the card, but don't call it out. I don't want to know the color number. Show them the card, show them the card. Uh. Put it back down, put it back down. Place it back in. Let me have the box. We'll put all the card inside so I can't sneak your card out. You take these. I told you this is a newspaper trick. Let me get a single sheet off the shelf. We're going to fold it once, twice, 
and a third time. Please hold this in your other hand. Besides the cards, besides the paper, one more thing, brown paper grocery bag. <laughs> I'm going to start first of all today with the, uh, take the newspaper first. Take the card second. Oh, Jacob, I brought with me today a friend that's going to help find your card. Do you know who that friend is? My friend Max. <laughs> Jacob, say hi to Max. Hi, Max. <laughs> Jacob, you're talking to a pair of plastic teeth. That's okay, it's a magic show. Allowed to talk to plastic teeth. Baby, place it. <laughs> Jacob, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to reach in. You had a rainy shot? <laughs> Thank God, those teeth. Pretty much there. Jacob, take out the newspaper. Tell me, Jacob, after all this, do you remember what number of card you chose? <laughs> Looks like a four dime is really good. Jacob, I hate to Jacob, the problem with that trick is the cards are little. Sometimes the audience is so big they can't see the cards in the back from are too little. Well, do this again, bigger cards. Jacob, I have here a large plastic card. Print it on the back. One, two, three, four, five backs. Snatch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five fronts. There's one red card. It's the queen and it's in the middle. So Jacob, if you take a close pin and clip the card in the middle, it's going to clip the queen arms. Jacob, you take the close pin. I'm going to try to fool him by spitting this while it faces me. Jacob, you clip the card you think is the queen arms. Oh, Which one? Yeah. Straighten it out. No. That one? Yeah. No, that's a ten of clubs. No, Jacob, you should be confused. This is only a picture of a card. When I spit okay. it, it's the fool. Since it's a picture of a card, if I clip the card in the middle, it's going to clip the queen arms. Jacob, take that close pin. I'll try to fill him one more time. Go, Jacob, you clip that card, you think it's the Queen Hearts. No, Jacob, that's still the 10 of clubs. <laughs> Jacob, you know what the problem is? The cards aren't big enough. Well, these even bigger cards. Stand in the corner of my new stable we'll place this in the back seat. I'll leave it in the front. It's kind of crowded back there. Jacob, I'll take the close pin. Because if you can't find the queen now, it's time for an eye test. Because I have here a big queen of hearts. A big king of clubs. A second. Now, Jacob, this is very simple. What is this card? It's in the middle. Closest to you, a king of clubs. An identical king on the side closest to me. Now, Jacob, watch carefully. Jacob, that's one. Jacob, that's two. Jacob, don't touch the cards. Just point to the one you think is the Queen of Hearts. No, Jacob, that's the King of Clubs. <laughs> Jacob, this is the King of Clubs. The Queen of Hearts is always in the middle. Jacob. Maybe I move him too many times. We'll do this again, less moves. Jacob, once again, what is this card? It's in the middle. Jacob, closest to you, a king of clubs. An identical king close to me. Now, Jacob, watch carefully. I'll only do this one time. Jacob, where's the queen of hearts? No, Jacob, that's the king of clubs. <laughs> Jacob, this is the king of clubs. Jacob, the queen of hearts is over here. <laughs> Jacob. Maybe there's just too many cards. We'll get rid of one. Jacob, final time, what is this card? <laughs> On the end towards you. King of clubs in the middle. Jacob, final time. Where's the queen of hearts? Middle, no, that's the K clubs. <laughs> Jacob, this is the K clubs because Jacob. Okay.
right, we are going to take another short break and be right back with more of Armstrong School District's Education Today. When we come back, we will return directly to the program at West Hills Primary. Stick around. Before I came to IUP, I had no idea what college would be like or what role I would play or where I'd be in the future. But when I came to IUP, everything changed. I met people who really made me feel like I belonged. I had great classes at a great nationally ranked university. Hi, my name is Megan Miller. I'm a fine arts major and this is my university. Come and meet those dancing feet On the avenue I'm taking you to 42nd Street Hear the beat of dancing feet It's the song I love the melody of 42nd Street What do you go for? Go see a show for The dice they sent me in Games Magazine, flat, only two-sided. But I like to show that even though this is a flat die, it has three-dimensional properties. Because I've discovered, if I start with one in the front, I can show six in the back, I can show three in the front, I can show four in the back. Now I was confused, so I called a friend and said, listen, this is how you can tell when someone's cheating and using crooked <coughs> dice. Because all normal dice, top, bottom, front, back, always add up to seven, which means if you have one in the front, you have to have six in the back because six and one are seven. And when you have three in the front, you have to have four in the back because three and four are seven. I said, I understand. Do you understand it? Actually, I cheated. I've got dice that look like this. Now, to hold your hand like this, you see a dot. When you hold your hand like this, this is where your imagination and the psychology of magic comes in. Because even though this is not a normal die, that's where the third dot belongs. And then you don't physically see it, you see it in your mind's eye. Over here, it's the same. I hold my hand like this to see four dots. That's because the cover is one here. Likewise, if I hold like that, you imagine I have a six. Sometimes at the shows, though, people say, well, that's true. You shun a side with one, a side with six, a side with three, a side with four. But there are two more sides of the die which are true. You also have a side that has two and a side that has five. Firstly, I'm not much of a dice player. I like to play dominoes. However, no matter what you like to play, you can be sure to find in your local school of public library books and how to win. And one of the great things about reading is, reading is something you can do whenever you have a few moments of spare time. And when you go to your library to read, it's free and doesn't cost you any money. When I go to the library, I like to read books on my favorite subject, which is, you guessed it, Car trips. Who likes pizza? Don't well, forget it's only an eight slices, not to go around. But at least show it looks like it's my favorite kind: extra cheese, ground beef, anchovies. I have a couple slices in the car all the way home. Huh? What do you mean? It cost ten bucks. The guy said the world's fastest pizza go with extra cheese, ground beef, anchovies. Have a couple slices. I guess this rules fast pizza go, it's gone. Tell me, who knows how to make pizza? Who knows how to make pizza? I'm gonna use a boy for this one, and I'm gonna use, gonna use You wanna help? Come on up. Stand here. Face rush. Who are you? Nate? I got a snake at home, I call him Nate the Snake. I'm gonna do. Hold the box. Both hands. Nate, what's the first thing you gotta do when you make pizza? <coughs> You're lucky, Nate. I subscribe to Bon Appetit Monthly Cookie Magazine. Nate, in this month's issue, they sent me a whole of both hands, Nate. Instant Pizza Mix. What? 
Tell me, Nate, do you know what the main ingredient inside pizza dough is? A snake. A snake. No. Flour. Don't look at me. Look at the audience. Stand like that. <coughs> right at the Nate, what goes besides flour? Yeast, yeast. Now hold the box up. Tell the chin up like that right there for me, Nate. For like Nate, what goes besides flour and yeast? Eggs. Power legs, that's what it does in storm. Nate, hold it just nice like that. Nate, what do you gotta do when you get all the ingredients in the bowl? <coughs> you gotta mix it, you gotta mix it. Oh, Nate, boys and girls, teachers, terrible idea. You should never mix pizza mix with magic wand. You should never mix pizza mix with magic wand. I'm glad you asked. Because a rabbit might appear and nobody wants a hair in their pizza. Nate, watch, that's one, two, three. Oops, just like that, we just take that spoon, just like this. Nate, you take a little pizza mix? I put in the box like that. Nate, take the box back. Shake the box like this. Nate, shake yourself like this. What, you never heard of shake and bake? Let me have that box. Nate, take your left hand, wave it over the box. That's your right hand, it's lasagna. Say, Mama Mia. Pizzeria. Everybody give Nate a hand for making pizza. Nate, thanks so much. Kristen, this is my can. When this trick came in the mail, it came with all kinds of equipment, apparatus, instructions, and cardboard. I will set the cardboard aside. Mrs. McKenna, if you would please read for everyone the title of this trick. The Blooming Head Trick. The what? Blooming Head Trick. Read instruction number one. Get a kid from the audience. I got a kid from the audience. Go number two. Stand him on the floor to your left. Already on the floor on my left. You go to number three. Pick up the can and pour Kool-Aid into it. That's right. I got Kool-Aid to go with the pizza. Stay there. I'll be right back. <laughs> How about after that? Set pitcher on table. I'm using floor today. Table's kind of full. And next? Pick up cardboard. That's over here. And after that? Turn upside down. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you went from five to seven. Sorry. Put a six in there. Put cardboard on can. Now go to seven. Turn upside down. Turn upside down. Oh, wrong prop, wrong prop. Place everything on kid's head. <laughs> What's that? Explains this. Oh, this is <laughs> Hannah? Hannah, have you started to read yet? Now, when you start reading, you'll learn readings important for a lot of different things. For me to be able to find your school, I have to be able to read, read maps, read directions, read road signs. But Hannah, I'm going to tell you something you don't know. Hannah, where's your teacher? Did you know that Mrs. McKenna was up till three o'clock this morning hammering at road signs so we could find this building because you're out in the boonies? <laughs> Did you see the signs she went up to read? She's so tired she'll be asleep in about 10 minutes. Yeah. They, Hannah, they had Indian arrows on. You, I brought one in case you missed it. <laughs> Hannah, when I got into my car today, all I had to do was follow the arrows to get to your school. Now, Hannah, I kept seeing these signs with arrows, but I didn't see any Indians. Did you see any Indians today? Let me tell you something. It was so simple to find your school. Because all the signs I passed had arrows that pointed in the same direction. But Hannah, when I was six blocks from here, a strange thing happened. Do you know what happened six blocks from here? Six blocks from here, there was a sign arrow pointing the other way. I was confused. I stopped my car. There was a tree. Attached the tree, a sour arrow pointing up. Hannah, I climbed the tree, there was a branch. Attached the branch out, pointing to the side. Hannah, I kept seeing these signs with Indian arrows, but I didn't see any. Did you see any Indians today? Hannah, I climbed up to the end of the branch, there was a sour arrow pointing down. I looked, there was my car. I closed my eyes, I jumped, and lay in the car, and Hannah, you know what? There was an arrow pointing the original way. In fact, Hannah, guess what? All the arrows pointed the original way. 
Hey, and I kept seeing these signs with Indian arrows today, but I didn't see it. They just see any Indians today. Hey, and I got a half a block from here. I saw a very strange sign that looked like this. Hey, and I didn't know which way to go. They pointed different ways. Hey, and I kept seeing these signs with Indian arrows today, but I didn't see it. Did you see any Indians today? Hey, and I got a quarter block from here. I saw a strange sign all like, like this. Hey, and I stuck my head through the hole. I didn't see your school. I didn't see any more signs. I didn't see and do me a favor. Take a peek through there. Tell everybody to see. Do you see anything? Now, where everybody else does, give me a nice hand. We'll go back and sit there. You look through the paper. If there's anything we can do a trick about. So let me see. Uh, no, not there. How about. Uh, no, not there. Oh, here we go. If anybody saw this, yesterday out on I 80, big tractor trailer accident. It says here a tractor trailer truckload full of wigs. <laughs> fell over. Police are still calling me the highway. <laughs> oh, it's a bad joke. I won't use that one. Oh, international news. Two big boats, two cruise ships, they hit each other. It says here the one boat was carrying red paint, the other boat was carrying purple paint. All the pastors marooned. <laughs> oh, you won't use that one. Oh, crime news, crime news. Yesterday. <laughs> The Philadelphia Police Department had to break up an illegal <coughs> poker game at the Lion House of the Philadelphia Zoo. Too many cheetahs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is there a boy or girl in this audience that can tell me what delusion is? What's an illusion? Not great. What's an illusion? What's an illusion? It's something that you think you see and you don't. And this is an illusion because I never tear the paper. Would you believe it sometimes after programs people say to me? I was positive I saw separate pieces. But it's the only illusion. It doesn't happen. One time someone had the nerve to tell me they thought they could actually... Here the piece is being torn, but it's only illusion, it doesn't really happen. That's what magic is. Magic is an illusion, it doesn't really happen. What's reality in life is you won't succeed in life if you don't read. That's reality. This. Was illusion. Thank you. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks to presenter Joseph Keppel for presenting to our students. Also, our thanks goes out to the TV production students of Catanning Senior High School, led by their teacher, Mr. Don Swanson. They were our film crew today. Please join us again next week for another look at the Armstrong School District. Visit our website for updated information about the district and have a great week.